I like the rain, but soft gray skies and rain and even thunderstorms don't necessarily mean gloomy. Gloomy is more a feeling, sad and down in the dumps. I guess you have to have some of those times in your life. Maybe it makes the good days better to have the contrast to bright and sunny. But being in the gloomy is hard, especially when it seems to go on and on. What I have is a inoperable uh, tumor in the back of my left knee. And it's about 11 centimeters large. It is a two in a million tumor. When I got the news um, and he said I had cancer, I heard the words, but it's like I didn't quite understand them. I was just uh, an emotional wreck. It's, it's very isolating and alone. Um, to be a cancer or a tumor patient. And even though you're surrounded by, by the best family, the best friends, and the best community, which uh, so many of us are, it's still difficult to take all of our friends and family on this roller coaster with us. I tried to make myself do something every day just to not be in bed the whole time. But like I said, I couldn't read. I would read a page and then I would go, I don't remember what I just read, and I'd read it again, and I would go, oh, this is just too frustrating. One day in one of the infusion rooms, I saw the, the flyer for the uh, writing circle. And I debated, because I thought, well, if I can't read, I'm not going to be able to write. It just seemed like a good idea to, to sit down and do some writing and, and hear from other people who are also um, cancer patients. I was just anxious to do anything to get better. Who would like to start off our day? I will, but I realize at the end of it, I've written a second grade poem, but that's okay. It, the Ames Writers Collective approached um, Sarah Hikins, who's our director of oncology, and she thought it would be a nice fit into the services that we provide. We do a variety of different supportive services to our patients. And this was a really nice way for us to be able to allow patients to have a group experience and something new for us in the fact that this is um, support and emotional um, expression through writing prompts. Thank you, Paul, for sharing that with us. Well, thanks for giving me the trust that I can share that. <laughs> This program, Writing Circle Wednesdays, I did this in memory of two of my girlfriends who passed away from cancer and left behind a total of six young sons at the time when they died. And so I do it in memory of them. Great difficulty is expected in life. So help, so hope helps drive the little I can control. I'd have to say that I've gained a beautiful release from this journey with this group of people. Colleen, would you like to lead us then in meditation? I would love to. But I decided to become a certified meditation instructor through Deepak Chopra. I've coupled meditation with uh, writing. I've been fortunate enough to start each writing session with a meditation that I lead. In a way, this could be most people's story, I think. So few of us know the path that lies before us when we leave the nest. It's really fun and, you know, it adds some insights into your own life to hear how people respond to these prompts. We're cheering you on, Kathy. Thank you. I will get better. Yeah. I mean... And you are getting better. I am getting better. You are. It turned out to be a really, really good thing to do. The, the group is very patient. Anna is a really good leader. It is something that makes you feel less isolated and makes you feel like you aren't the only one out there who's going through something that can be, uh, that can have a lot of ups and downs. So yes, this is just, uh, this is the, the writing circle is just another way to connect in those kinds of ways. I think the benefit is just having a mental activity, having something to look forward to every week. Like I know on Wednesday afternoons, I have um, this, this group to look forward to. Between the physical therapy and the writer's workshop, I think those are the two best things that have happened to me since the chemo. The very first writing session, part of my introduction was, um, I have never met 
any of you before, but you are all my friends. And that's how I feel. Lasting friendships, I think that each one of my fellow writers have imprinted upon my heart. And so they have, they will remain with me forever. I could hear people's stories all day long. And um, I, I can't tell you how many times I've cried, or a whole group of us have cried. And that's one of the, it's been the surprising thing about Zoom is, you know, Sarah and uh, Angela and I lamented, oh, we can't come together. But it allowed the homebound to be able to come and write with us. And Zoom, I, it's just a, amazing how um, close-knit a group can become just spending these Wednesdays together. I think that was a true example of resilience. Joyful resilience, you said, right? In the, yeah, thank you for that.